Fletcher Moss Park is a hidden treasure of South Manchester. In summer, it's full of families picnicking, playing tennis, spotting flowers. Even today, in the last throes of autumn, when the leaves have all but dropped, and before the snows have come to tempt people back, the gardens are still well worth a visit. I've been coming here since I was a child. This spot is surely a special place. Overlooked only by a traditional church and a very few private houses, it must be lovely to wake up to see the sun rising over the surrounding woods. The gardens are on the edge of the Mersey floodplain, and it can be quite boggy underfoot. You might expect a moss to be boggy. But then the name of the gardens is disingenuous. The moss referred to is not a plant, but Alderman Fletcher Moss, an active public servant and writer of local history, who bequeathed his house to the city of Manchester when he died in 1919. There's also a rather good pub named after him. The slope of the walled south-facing rock garden is home to many plants, ornamental trees and shrubs. There's a pond surrounded by ferns and irises, and of course, plenty of benches to stop and rest. The gardens beyond contain many more species, palms, tulip trees, mulberry, and dwarf conifer. They are also home to a very nice little cafe that serves ice creams and lollies, though these aren't in great demand today. I think the cafe is part of what was once the Croft, which was the birthplace of the Royal Society for the Protection of Birds. There are usually plenty of birds in the area, though on this late November day, most appear to have packed their trunks and headed off to southern climes. The tennis courts don't look quite so appealing as in Wimbledon week. Today, they're deserted. As a place loved by so many local people, there are, of course, numerous plaques and inscriptions reminding us that life is short and should be enjoyed. I do enjoy a trip to Fletcher Moss, in sun, rain, sleet or snow. And I think you might too. <laughs>